Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the long coaster uh, ride creation contest. In this contest everyone had to create a coaster that was at least 2 kilometers uh, in length. Now, um, we had, uh, I believe we had 18 finished entries. Um, so in this video I will uh, start with the one that got last place and I'll finish by announcing the winner of the round. Now, um, to start off, um, this is the entry from Black Adder and Rhythm. They actually weren't able to finish their uh, coaster before the deadline, but uh, rest assured, um, I will uh, I will show this uh, coaster in a separate video just because it's uh, so awesome what they created. So that's uh, something to look uh, forward to. Anyway, now let's move to the player who got last place. Okay, in last place we have this entry from Allbud. He's a new player on my uh, Discord. He made this uh, wound coaster on this. Uh, island over here uh, yeah to start off um, I really like the shape of the uh, island this is a really cool uh, map that he uh, chose for his coaster um, yeah I think an, an easy uh, way uh, all but could have uh, improved his entry is uh, for example by just uh, decorating the queues uh, a little bit um, also, the kinds of trees, uh, in my opinion, don't really make sense. There's uh, some palm trees here, and then here on the island, there's just... Uh, it looks like uh, all, the, all these areas of uh, one kind or two kinds of trees. And in some locations, they don't really make sense here. For example, on top of this mountain where there's snow and ice, uh, you also have these uh, green trees here next to these pine trees. Uh, same here. Uh, I, th I just think it looks a little bit... Uh, weird. Also there were a few areas where the park was a little bit sloppy. For example the terrain painting here and the shape of the beach uh, probably uh, could use some polishing. Now, as for the coaster, um, yeah it is uh, longer than uh, two kilometers. The layout uh, does look a little bit uh, random to me and also there don't seem to be a lot of guests on it. Uh, when I uh, check someone's park, I always like to see uh, a lot of people in the in a coaster when I open the park. So that's just my uh, preference. And well, yeah, other than the coaster, the island looks a little bit bare bones. Probably could have used a few more uh, decorations on the map. And also, again, there's a few things like uh, like this mine shaft building here, which still rests on the supports here. That's just a little bit uh, sloppy. So yeah, definitely a lot of uh, improvement uh, points could have been made on this map. But the shape of it is uh, really cool. Okay, here's the map from uh, Karel. Uh, Karel made this, uh, also made a map on an island. Um, kind of tropical vibes on the side. Once again, so you can see these palm trees uh, which are in the water, which is kind of strange, I think. And right next to that you find these uh, pine uh, forests. Now, uh, what I think is usually a good idea is to uh, decide what kind of uh, climate you want on the map. I mean, if you have... Uh, the map is usually quite a small scale, so if you go for uh, something tropical, like what's down here on the edge, it's probably a good idea to extend that to the rest of the map uh, as well. Um, yeah, I do like this uh, area here in the middle. This again looks uh, pretty tropical. Although there are these pine trees uh, right next to it again. Um, yeah, I do know uh, pine trees uh, sometimes grow on tropical islands, but it just looks a little bit uh, weird uh, right here. Especially here uh, with these pine trees on the beach next to these palm trees. Probably best to just uh, choose a climate and uh, stick with it. Um, as for the coaster layout, um, yeah, I think um, the coaster layout relies a little bit too much on uh, helixes. On real uh, wooden roller coasters, you of don't really often see uh, many uh, helixes. And uh, I think some uh, extra supports on the side for this coaster would have also uh, helped. For example, uh, let's just take this uh, brown color. Right next to the lift hill, some of these uh, supports uh, will often uh, really make your uh, lift hill look much nicer. Now this coaster also has an extensive uh, underground part. That's something I usually also recommend uh, against. It's much nicer if the viewers can actually uh, do watch your coaster without having to uh, check also check the underground area. 
And of course, if you make it above ground, it's also much uh, easier to decorate uh, your coaster. Now, what I do really like about this park is the, the this entrance here. Um, this just looks really cool. These ticket booths and the guests also queuing uh, for them. That's uh, really nice. All right, here's the map from Piano then. Now, uh, he said that he was building the coaster and then realized he ran out of time. I think that's kind of visible also in the map. Uh, it does look a, a little bit unpolished uh, in some areas. Uh, yeah, one thing <laughs> that uh, I noticed was this uh, square building over here. And yeah, this looks kind of looks like a botanical garden or an atrium. Uh, it's called atrium. Uh, but yeah, then when you look uh, in, inside of it, uh, you see all, all the same kinds of trees that you see uh, outside as well. Probably would have been nice, uh, for example, to have some cherry blossom trees or some uh, different gardens uh, inside this uh, building here. Um, as for the coaster, uh, yeah, it's a floorless uh, coaster, white, <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, it's a floorless coaster, but uh, it almost just looks like a, sort of like a hyper twister coaster. It only has uh, two inversions uh, throughout the track, and they're both uh, here in this co-barrel. Since it's a floorless coaster, probably would be nice to uh, have some extra inversions uh, throughout the track. And support work, uh, I think it is uh, quite nice. Uh, one thing that I found a little bit strange about this layout is that here at some point it has this booster section. And then here it goes up the hill, and then here there's a brake section. I don't know, that uh, kind of seems like a waste of... Uh, it just kind of seems like a waste to me. But yeah, overall, uh, I like the color scheme of the coaster. Um, the layout doesn't impress me too much. Probably a few inversions would have helped. The map overall, uh, it looks a little bit rushed, but that's what Piano then already mentioned in his uh, story. Okay, here's the entry from Uno Reverser Coaster. Uh, sadly, I had to dock uh, half a point because he used custom scenery in his map. He used some uh, glass doors. Uh. Um, but yeah, what he did in this map, he made an absolutely massive uh, coaster. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just so huge. The requirement was to have a coaster of two kilometers and he uh, actually went for a length of three and a half kilometers. So that's, uh, that's pretty insane. Now, um, yeah, you didn't notice when you're following the coaster that it kind of just drags on and on and on a bit. Um, yeah, the layout also, it feels a little bit uh, random to me. I mean, usually for a coaster you want to have maybe like a build up of intensity uh, towards the end or maybe some intense elements at the beginning and then... Um, slowly getting less uh, intense towards the end, something like that. But this coaster just feels like, for, well yeah, here you drop down and then there's a succession of hills, some uh, yeah, some banked turns here, some more shallow hills, etc. That's what I just mean with that it just drags on a bit. I think uh, half the length, or well, a little bit more than half the length would have been uh, fine. Um, what I do uh, really, uh, yeah, what does really impress me is that uh, Unary Fresher Coaster actually made these custom supports for the entire length of the coaster. That must have been a ton of work. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's uh, really impressive in my opinion. Oh, yeah, um, the landscaping, I quite liked it. Well, of course, here there's uh, mostly just a lot of trees, but uh, yeah, I actually also went uh, through the trouble of putting all these bushes. Uh, in between and uh, I think the forest actually does look uh, quite nice and these other rides here in the park and these uh, decorations the buildings they also look uh, really good it's a nice little playground here so that's uh, that's quite good but yeah like I said the coaster just uh, it just drags on a bit all right here's the entry from can of rabbit holes now um he uh, yeah he didn't uh, look at the deadline properly so he thought he still had more time so uh yeah, he actually was too late uh, handing it in. Um, and that's also why it, at some point uh, you can see that it was not really uh, finished. Some floating trees here, some really rough landscaping. 
But yeah, for most of the map it actually looks quite nice. So there's this uh, coast here which travels all around this uh, landscape here throughout the mountains. Must have some uh, hidden breaks because it's a uh, side friction coaster. And I'm pretty sure with all this height difference it would have uh, reached a ton of speed here and would probably fly off the hills over here. Yeah, quite a quite a lot of uh, straight track in this uh, in this coaster. It's difficult to zoom into the part where I want the screen to be. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of straight uh, track in this coaster, but uh, it's actually ki kind of nice how it travels uh, throughout this uh, impressive uh, landscape in this map. That's quite nice. I also like how it uh, travels through the cave here. Also, some really nice uh, bridges uh, throughout the map. So yeah, um, I really recommend uh, a can of rabbit holes to uh, watch the deadline more closely next time. You can uh, watch all the deadlines on uh, our website, dkmp.wtf. I really recommend uh, checking there uh, next time. Okay, here's the entry from Marky Boy. He made this big coaster next to the Hockenheim Ring uh, circuit. The Hockenheim Ring uh, track. You can see uh, all these uh, sports cars here, or these racing cars. And they're actually named after the Formula One uh, drivers. So in front, Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, uh, etc. I really like the stadium uh, that he built here, the grandstands, all these buildings, the pit lane. This is uh, really cool. Now, um, I really wish he had uh, given the same kind of attention to his coaster. I mean. The layout is uh, is all right. It's uh, it's actually quite nice, uh, but you can see in some points it could have really used a lot more attention. Uh, for example, you can see here in this uh, turnaround that uh, quite a few of these supports have been moved uh, to the side, and that's probably because there's uh, trees uh, under it. It kind of looks like he just spammed a lot of uh, trees here in this uh, area. And this uh, part of the park is just just uh, quite boring. Um, a lot of the same trees here. Um, probably could have used some more quarter tile trees in between, because uh, right here it just looks like all these trees are in uh, are in lines. That's probably something. Uh, yeah, it just makes it look a bit unnatural. Probably some more high difference, some more ground texturing. Uh, probably would have made it look a lot better. All right, and here we have the entry from Raymond L. I believe he uh, didn't submit the park with a story. Uh, it's called Fa Meadow. Now I played Zelda Breath of the Wild, so I believe that's the like the big flying bird in the sky. That's probably also why this coaster is so high up in the above the ground. Now I usually uh, recommend people not to make their coaster uh, high up above the ground. It just makes it look like a big sea of uh, supports. That's also what you see here. I do like the way he did these supports. So it looks like. Uh, uh, multi-dimension coasted track, uh, or vertical uh, parts of that track, and then two pieces of this track are stacked against each other. Well, yeah, uh, it, having it all be so high up in the sky, I think it, it looks uh, kind of weird, especially these helixes. Uh, uh, when you have them uh, so high above the ground, they just look uh, huge with these uh, big supports. To be fair, um, yeah, I'm also not really a big fan of these uh, um, angled supports here. Um, when a coaster is supported, there's, uh, if there's an angled support, there's usually a straight support uh, under it as well, just to make a triangle, which makes it uh, much uh, stronger. Well, yeah, overall, uh, if you're familiar with the Zelda series, uh, uh, or Zelda Breath of the Wild, then uh, this coaster yeah, is actually pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I think this entry really uh, needed a story for more people to be able to uh, appreciate it and to appreciate the theme. Hey, here's the entry from Mosquito. Uh, he made this uh, pretty cool looking uh, hyper, or uh, what's it? Pretty cool looking uh, hyper coaster. And it looks like one of those uh, Morgan uh, hyper coasters or Arrow uh, hyper coasters. No, it's uh, actually quite nice. I like, really like the the color scheme that he used. The layout's also pretty nice. Although in this part, uh, it's just really fast. Uh, it just flies uh, through these uh, turns here. Must have uh, quite high lateral g-forces. Not sure if he edited the stats. 279, quite high. 
but maybe it's fine. But uh, yeah, I just noticed that this, in this part of the of the layout, the coaster just really just flies through these uh, turns. So probably some uh, better speed management uh, would have been uh, nice here. Maybe a little bit of height reduction, something like that. But overall, uh, I do like the shape of the of the layout. Uh, there were some other things in the park that I thought were a little bit weird. And there's this park fence, which just which just cuts through the park here, and also uh, goes along the border here. There's a console command you can use to just hide the park fence. If it's uh, remove park fences, there you go. Now the park fence is invisible. Probably looks uh, much nicer. Now there was something else uh, in this park that <laughs> I, d I noticed. That some pe other people noticed it as well. So uh, this log flume just has an insane amount of boats, so you can all see them uh, go right after one another here. Um, well, when you're playing a scenario, this is probably a good way to do it. But when you're trying to make your park look nice, I think it could have done with uh, one third of the amount of boats that it uh, that it uses here. Hey, here's the entry from Apprehensy and Jean F. They made this big uh, uh, hyper coaster, oh, another hyper coaster. Um, this one looks uh, looks really nice as well. I really like the style that they used for the supports here with these uh, observation uh, tower uh, track pieces. The supports uh, look uh, look quite nice here. And also in uh, in uh, this section here, so a nice uh, twisty section. Goes a little bit slower here than the than the previous one. So yeah, um, just uh, really nice looking supports on this on this uh, coaster. Uh, also nice looking uh, station building. That's pretty nice. Also uh, a really good looking transfer track here. Uh, so yeah, they, they did a great job on that. Uh, the queue for the coasters really long though. Although uh, of course uh, real coasters also uh, also have uh, long queues. Now it is quite uh, glitchy in this part. You can see some of these track pieces uh, disappear over here. Also some uh, glitching happening here over this path. When you build support, when you hide supports uh, over water, you should never put them under surface, because uh, yeah, they will just start disappearing for people, and that's not something uh, you want. Same happens here with this uh, purple coaster. Also, these track pieces uh, and these scenery pieces also disappearing over the water. Be really careful uh, with uh, yeah, putting uh, track pieces under uh, surface above water. So uh, launched freefall coaster here. I think it sits quite uh, nicely here in this, uh, um, yeah, right under the other coaster and above the water here. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, also has a nice uh, station. Again, same uh, rainbow uh, pattern here. A real long queue here in the in the corner of the map. Um, yeah, something that that I found a little bit strange about the park was the huge amount of entertainers that are walking around here. Uh, there's 100 of them. Uh, not really sure if that's uh, necessary. I think it's a bit excessive. I'm not really sure why there's astronauts and Roman uh, warriors are walking around here next to uh, elephants. And uh, that's probably a little bit uh, excessive. So um, some uh, really nice parts in this park. Um, I believe there was also a handyman here walking on the highway. No handyman 11, you have so much left to live for. So yeah, um, some nice uh, stuff here in this uh, in this entry, but some uh, parts look a little bit rushed and some parts uh, like the 100 entertainers are a little bit uh, crazy. Okay, um, this uh, park is also in ninth place. Uh, we actually had a tie for ninth place. Um, here's the entry from Bob Kenny Unicorn. He made this really cool uh, wooden uh, or dueling wooden coaster. It's actually one of those uh, Mobius uh, the designs with just one station. So as soon as uh, one train uh, yeah, reaches this part, it then goes on the other lift hill and then duels another train. So that's uh, how he reached the two kilometer uh, requirement. Just make a, make one train uh, do both laps before it returns uh, back to the station. Now, I think these uh, uh, coasters just or uh, this coaster uh, these trains they just do well in a really nice way. Uh, 
I quite enjoy uh, seeing them race against each other here in this part and uh, yeah they're actually uh, pretty well uh, synced up uh, until this point of course where they separate and one of the trains goes back to the station so really nice uh, station building here and uh, really nice transfer track as well I really like how this uh, building uh, was done here so a uh, nice queue here around this little pond here with some of these uh, sun covers as well and there's also some other cool rides here. Here's one of those uh, typical double loop, double corkscrew uh, arrow coasters. And here's uh, a weird observation tower, which looks really uh, artistic. Now, um, a point of complaint that uh, some people had uh, is that the buildings, uh, while pretty nice, they look a little bit random. So there's a random uh, church here, and then here's a barn. And here, this looks kind of looks like a Wild West uh, building. And here's, uh, I believe it's an Asian uh, restaurant, Titanic. So, uh, yeah, while the coasters are really nice, I think the buildings around it don't really tie everything uh, together. Probably would have been nicer if this area was just uh, one theme. So, a yeah, really cool coaster. The surroundings, I think, could have used some uh, work. But it's a really nice uh, entry. All right, here's the entry from Cypher. Mm, he made a... Big woody here in this uh, mountainous uh, landscape. You see it waiting on top of the lift hill here. Uh, yeah, it's actually quite a cool layout uh, through these mountains. Um, actually, it kind of follows the landscape, so uh, that makes it look quite nice. And uh, yeah, he also did some uh, really nice uh, supports uh, in some parts of the coaster. For example, uh, over here, I think it uh, looks really nice how we. Um, pack this helix in in uh, supports here so yeah, that's a uh, I think that's pretty enjoyable uh, to watch now there's not custom supports everywhere uh, I think it would have been nice to have them in uh, more parts of the coaster for example over here or uh, in this uh, in this area here although it probably uh, is quite difficult with uh, all these elevation changes here now, uh, something which uh, I was a little bit less impressed with was uh, the tree placement. You can see a lot of these trees are really close to the supports. And there's actually uh, quite a few of them that are actually under the supports. You can see a tree uh, buried over here. There's also a tree under the supports here. Yeah, you should really be careful when spamming uh, trees. Uh, really, don't uh, place trees under your wooden coaster supports. That just looks uh, really silly. Uh, the buildings, they look uh, quite nice. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what theme it is. Kind of looks like uh, some of these uh, Roman statues. Uh, building kind of looks a little bit uh, Asian. Not really sure. Uh, but overall, um, uh, Le Grand Rouge. <laughs> That's quite a nice name for the coaster. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, I, uh, I really like the buildings here. Coaster is also pretty nice, uh, but really be careful with your tree placement. Okay, the next entry is from R. Adrian 1994. Well, I believe this is one of the smallest uh, maps that we got with a two kilometer coaster in it. It's a side friction coaster. Actually, hard to believe it's actually 2000 uh, meters, but it's actually quite a bit over it, almost 10%. Yeah, it's, uh, it travels uh, all uh, throughout this, uh, this map here. If you look underground, you can see there's a lot of track here. But there's also a lot of track uh, outside. It kind of reminds me of a coaster like a Ruth Benen at, uh, at uh, Tivoli in, uh, in Copenhagen. So that's also a coaster which travels through an uh, artificial uh, mountainous uh, landscape. And it's actually uh, uh, really uh, well done. So yeah, just uh, lovely how we uh, place this castle here. Um, I think it would have been nice on this castle if it had some more uh, different textures uh, to it. I always like attaching some wooden poles or uh, wooden post fences to the outside. Also have some wood uh, in it, just to give it some more uh, yeah, different uh, color. I do see some uh, brown stuff in here, so that's uh, I think that's nice. I really like this uh, waterfall that he put here and these little uh, yeah these little ice caps here. So yeah, this looks like a typical nice uh, artificial uh, landscape uh, section. So with a little barn here. Also a nice uh, station for the coaster. 
So yeah, overall, um, I think our Adrian uh, did a really nice job on this uh, little coaster here. Really nice job. Okay, here's the entry from Boracay Flavor and Lurker. Now, uh, when you open this uh, park, you can immediately see this impressive uh, support structure for the coaster. Um, also, this uh, part downwards here kind of looks like one of those newer uh, B&M hyper coasters. But yeah, the support structure, I think it looks uh, amazing. I really like the way they uh, they did these uh, supports here. And they did it through, uh, throughout quite a big part of the coaster. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. So the layout of the coaster, I think it's uh, it's pretty well done. Um, don't believe it has inversion. No, it's one of those hyper uh, twister uh, coasters. Oh yeah, just a bit of a vertical, uh, very steep drop here. Uh, some really high hills here, a really nice uh, turnaround. Some more uh, nice hills. Here's more of a twisty sexy section. So uh, with a nice uh, turn around here. And finally here's some uh, bunny hills before it returns back to the station. Uh, station also uh, pretty nicely done. Pretty cool looking transfer track here as well. Although uh, maybe a little bit too big. Um, I don't think it needs these rails to extend all the way to over here. If the rail is going to go uh, yeah, to, to here to uh, uh, to park a train. Well, yeah, overall uh, this uh, this coaster looks uh, looks really good. Um, you can really see that the Lurker has been working on this map. Because uh, there's uh, all these uh, buildings here in this typical style. Just packed in uh, wooden post fences and... Uh, and uh, wooden poles. So nice uh, shoestring ride here. Um, so yeah, I think uh, together these guys did an uh, awesome job on the park. Okay, now we make a little jump in score. Um, by the way, remember you can uh, download all these parks uh, for yourself um, from my uh, Discord server. Um, we have an archive with all entries from all uh, previous contests. Uh, Discord's completely free, so uh, you can find the link in the video uh, description. Okay, uh, yeah, this is uh, Invalid Yellow's entry. Uh, I think uh, already the station looks amazing. It's, it's these uh, nice looking ruins with all these plants on top. Uh, and a nice queue as well, uh, traveling through all these, uh, these uh, ruins here. Also with this big snake under the coaster. That's uh, really uh, nicely done. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And the coaster, uh, it just looks really good. I love the color scheme that he uh, used for the coaster. Uh, not a color scheme you see uh, very often. Um, yeah, this is a nice uh, layout for it as well. I love how it travels uh, over the water here on all these uh, islands. And here there's uh, more, uh, a big uh, yeah, twisty section around this uh, lighthouse. I love how he made it higher by putting it on this big round uh, footer here. That just looks uh, so cool. And then uh, after that finally it uh, travels back. It also travels uh, through these uh, ruins here I believe. Or it actually uh, uses this uh, brake section. More of a twist section here. Uh, it goes underground for a bit and then it returns uh, back to the station. So yeah. Um, I really like this uh, entry. The coaster just looks uh, really, really good. And I also love uh, this part over here. It's just a nice little townscape, also with uh, a little go-kart in it. All these uh, beautiful buildings here, a little playground. And there's also this uh, wooden coaster here. I love the way he did the station for this coaster. Simple, but it looks uh, really nice. And the layout uh, for this uh, woody. I think it's a uh, it's quite a small woody, but uh, it uh, I think it works pretty well. It uh, just fits in this uh, little area here really nicely. So yeah, Invalid uh, Yellow just did an amazing job on this uh, entry. Great job! All right, here's the entry from Gravity Maxa. No, um, it may be a little bit uh, dark on your screen. <laughs> this uh, map actually uses a very dark uh, palette. Um, Gravity Maxa said this entry was. Uh, based on uh, the series Stranger Things. Um, this coach is called the Never Ending Coaster and just travels uh, throughout this uh, landscape here. 
lots of uh, helixes, lots of uh, hills. Um, yeah, lots of nice decorations in this uh, map. Uh, especially here, this is called the Mind Flayer. It sits on top of this big uh, building here. That looks uh, insane. Now, um, the coaster itself does all these really nice supports, using a lot of uh, this uh, single rail coaster track. But these supports, uh, they just look amazing. Um, yeah, they just sit under these coasters uh, really nicely. All these, uh, all these uh, interesting shapes and uh, curves here. Yeah, I'm uh, really impressed with uh, the shapes of these uh, supports. Now, I haven't watched the series Stranger Things myself, uh, so probably I won't get uh, a lot of these references. Uh, but uh, personally, I was really impressed with the coaster that uh, that Maxa uh, made in this map. It just looks uh, really good. Um, I love the palette, although it is a little bit dark, but uh, it just fits the theme uh, really well. So yeah, a really nice uh, entry. Also very interesting shape for the map. Okay, here's the map from Hobion, a new uh, member on my Discord. Uh, now, I think this uh, map <laughs> already looks incredible. I mean, the landscaping here is just uh, superb. Love all these uh, rocks here in the water uh, and just the general shape of the map. All these uh, impressive looking waterfalls. Just uh, top notch uh, landscaping. And also the coaster that he made in the map, uh, I was really impressed by it. It's a, it's a wooden uh, coaster, as you can see. Um, it travels through uh, quite a big part of the map. And yeah, I uh, I really loved it. Um, I just really loved the shape of it. All these uh, custom supports here, all these uh, footers, also the the color of the of the coaster also looks uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, just uh, it's just really nicely done. Also has some nice uh, path interaction here. Um, this is a little bridge over it. Uh, here's another little bridge with this little circular uh, lookout area. Uh, yeah, I think this is just some really nice uh, interaction here. So there's this observation tower right here in, in the middle of the of the track. This is just uh, so uh, well done. I really like it. Also the station for the coaster, really nice. The queue also uh, sits here really nicely with some uh, also with some of these uh, covers uh, above it. So yeah, overall, uh, I was really impressed with this uh, entry. I personally gave it the maximum score. Um, and I really hope to see uh, more stuff like this from uh, Hobion in the future. This is just uh, really nicely done. Amazing job. Now, um, there's just two entries uh, remaining. Uh, I will first uh, show both of them. And after that, I will reveal which one is the winner of the round. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Birian and Olfenwood. They made this uh, Brazilian uh, coaster. Um, yeah, you can already see this uh, this statue here of uh, the the Redeemer, which is also the name of the coaster. So it's this uh, dueling RMC, uh, which uh, I believe also like a twisted uh, Colossus uh, um, does both tracks uh, before it returns back to the station. So that's a good way to uh, actually make the length uh, requirement. That's actually 2500 uh, meters. Uh, I think these uh, uh, go th or these uh, trains they do well in a really nice way. Uh, we'll, we'll see the next trains uh, in action soon. Uh, these uh, buildings uh, are yeah, very reminiscent of uh, Rio de Janeiro. Um, I think they look uh, incredible. It's just uh, really well uh <laughs> really well done uh, just love all these different materials that they used and also the shapes of the buildings just uh very nice yeah you can actually see the coasters uh, climb up the lift hills here here they uh, pass under each other and then here uh, throughout the track you will see them uh, race against each other yeah, it's just really fun uh, to watch these coasters uh, duel uh, against each other. Especially this part of on, over here is one of my favorite parts, where they both travel through this uh, half helix in opposite uh, directions. Our landscaping here just really nicely done. These supports, uh, they also look uh, incredible. 
I uh, love how we actually used, uh, or how they actually used these uh, RMC track pieces as supports for the coaster. That's uh, pretty cool. Uh, landscaping really nicely done. Also, all these uh, trees. I think they work uh, really uh, well here. Love this path up the mountain as well. Uh, yeah, just uh, an incredible entry. You don't know what else to uh, to say. Yeah, just uh, go check out these uh, in entries for yourself on my uh, Discord server. <laughs> All right, let's uh, check out the final entry. Okay, and here's the final entry of the bunch. This is the coaster from Dogs. Uh, yeah, I'm always a big fan of Dogs, his work, and uh, this uh, this coaster that he made here is no exception. Um, yeah, this coaster just looks incredible. Um, the layout of the coaster is, uh, is really nice. Um, just all these large hills here with these uh, great uh, supports. Uh, this nice turnaround in this uh, farmland here. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just incredible. Um, I just love everything about this uh, coaster. Uh, here's the brake run. Uh, Finally here, there's uh, several of these uh, bunny hops before it returns back to the station. Station, uh, I just love the roof of the station. Uh, also made uh, one of these signs in front of the yeah, in front of the station. I guess actually queue uh, right under that. Uh, maybe the queue could have uh, used some more uh, length to it, but uh, yeah, that's just a minor thing. No, the beach. Uh, I think it also looks uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe it would have been nice to have these uh, rapid sections underwater here, but uh, I think he already considered that since some of them are actually underwater. You can actually see the guests uh, walk around here, <laughs> actually uh, looking at and taking pictures of the of the water. Now, I always uh, like how uh, dogs does the edges of uh, of his maps. And I think he did a pretty nice job here as well. This just looks uh, really nice with all these uh, layers under it uh, as well. So yeah, just a really cool uh, map layout that the dogs made. Um, also a highway right uh, next to it. No handyman on this highway, so that's also a good thing. And a really nice sign here for the park. So yeah, um, once again, J Dogs just did an amazing job in this park. Um, I really loved this entry, and uh, I also gave it the maximum score myself. Okay, uh, I think it's now time to uh, reveal which one of these two last entries is the winner of the round. The winner of the long coaster contest is... Dogs, yeah, it's uh, nice to see dog uh, dogs uh, take the win uh, once. Uh, yeah, I just really love his uh, his work. His coaster is uh, amazing, but of course uh, the previous entry also from uh, Open Wood and Beer and was also uh, really nicely done. I'm a big fan of uh, both their work. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just incredible uh, what uh, what dogs put together here. Uh, lots of really nice uh, entries in this round. Lots of uh, newcomers as well. I'm al always happy to see uh, newcomers uh, join. Um, so yeah, if you want to join one of these contests, uh, just uh, become a member of my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. Um, I really hope uh, you enjoyed uh, watching all of these entries. Uh, we will start a new uh, round soon and I hope to see you uh, join as well. Alright, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching these videos and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later!